Hi everybody, Dr. Kyle Hodebeck here again. Thanks again for joining us. I'd first like to thank our sponsor, Vital C. They're the perfect guide to living the peak stage of growth, purpose, and discovery. You can learn more at vitalc.com. So for today's topic, let's talk a little bit about vitamins and supplements. Um, you'll hear a lot of different recommendations um, and insights here, and they're always changing. So I do uh, recommend that each person uh, do the, his or her own research there. But yeah, let's go ahead and, 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 and dive into this. So um, in the U.S. as well as uh, uh, most um, countries out there, um, I can definitely say that most people get um, the vitamins and minerals that they need to survive within their diets. So this is without any sort of supplementation at all. You just eat food. 99.9% .9 of people, okay, maybe 99% of people uh, will get all that they need within their, their uh, diet. This is for a few reasons. Um, food itself has vitamins and minerals. And then especially in developed countries, you know, Euro, uh, US, Europe, um, maybe Australia, New Zealand, things like that. There are foods that are... Um, supplemented they are fortified uh, if you will um, and if you need an example of that cereal like cereal for breakfast um, if, uh, most cereals will have tons of nutrients within it that they don't that do not come naturally but they're added into that salt most salt does not have iodine but we add iodine to salt in order to ensure that we have enough iodine within our diet so just a couple of examples there of why we get most of our vitamins and minerals already through our diet, but um, there there are a few exceptions, and there are reasons to potentially um, take extra extra vitamins. So, if you are someone who wants to take an extra daily vitamin, um, great. So there are tons and tons and tons of multivitamins out there. I'm not going to recommend a brand. You 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 can see all sorts of recommendations online. But as far as maybe some consider specific considerations we'll think about, for especially for the peak stage, um, maybe earlier in the peak stage, especially um, uh, for females, you do need to consider, you know, kind of the end of um, periods as well as coming out of menopause. Um, there's still the potential for uh, uh, having menses or periods or, or menstrual bleeding. So if that if you fall into that category, when you have uh, menses, you bleed and you lose iron. So you definitely want to have something with iron in it to replace um, that blood loss and the iron that goes along with it. As we get older as well, women more than men, um, but I mean, the risk increase for both you have the risk of osteoporosis, which is basically weak or brittle bones. So when you take something um, supplement-wise, make sure it has both vitamin D as well as uh, calcium in it. Um, I have a couple of examples here. Um, so this uh, I may have acquired for my wife, but uh, multivitamin for her, and then... Um, uh, so basically it still has iron in it for those who are still having uh, periods as well as vitamin D and calcium. The vitamin D and calcium kind of uh, work together uh, when it's being absorbed into the body. So those, those are important. Um, for those who maybe don't get enough sunlight, like myself, um, um, as well as um, have maybe just don't have the ability to... Uh, uh, produce the vitamin D or don't absorb it from the foods um, or um, other areas where it's fortified. Milk is another great example, fortified with vitamin D. Um, you can get this as well, vitamin D3. So this is only 50 micrograms, MCGs, which is almost nothing. Um, when I get it prescription, I usually get 50,000. So that's thousand times right uh, more than this but um this is great to also help um, increase um, that vitamin d which goes into so many aspects of um, uh, compounds that are created within the body so um, that specifically for those who have issues with uh, low vitamin d as well 
Okay, so those are kind of just general um, recommendations. What about those who like to work out? Um, they want to, you know, maintain those gains um, and uh, and just either maintain endurance or strength or whatever it may be. So there's definitely different recommendations out there um, for your specific sport or exercise. I would definitely send you to those uh, uh, sources who are experts in those areas. But I do want to uh, show a couple of things. So I was in the, in the military for a um, better part of two decades. And um, I mean, you would see, you would see, I mean, we love to work out. You would see, oh, I need my protein. I need my protein and uh, my supplements and this and that. And um, I mean, I'm not saying that they hurt, but I'm also saying, well, I mean, you don't need to go to non food sources necessarily for this. So this, for example, I'm, I'm reading the back right now. Um, per scoop has, let's see, 140 calories, also has 16 grams of protein. So I know a lot of people are interested in, oh, I gotta get the protein that, you know, helps build muscle. Okay. So again, 140 calories, 16 grams of protein. Tuna in sunflower oil. So for me, it's a little bit better uh, than water. Tuna, also one pack. This cost me just over a dollar, a lot less than that protein. 140 calories, the same as one scoop. 17 grams of protein, even more protein than the protein powder. Interesting, right? And oh, by the way, I get omega-3 fatty acids, which I can't produce internally. I have to eat those. Um, so good fatty acids. And uh, I, I mean, I think it tastes pretty good as well. So just showing that uh, regular food can be better than supplements. What about non-fat <laughs> Greek yogurt? If, I'm, if you're worried about the 140 calories. So 90 calories, 16 grams of protein. Same amount of protein as that protein powder with 50 calories less. I mean, that's, that's huge, right? This is just regular food. So... You get sold a lot on you need these supplements, but again, regular food has a lot of the same nutritional value or even better than what you can find sometimes in supplements, right? So don't uh, don't get caught up on that necessarily. Huh. What else? Special diets. So these are interesting. Special diets. So um, there are special diets for those maybe who choose to have special diets. Um, if you're vegetarian, if you're vegan. Um, that's one thing. There's also people with either medical conditions um, uh, brought on by surgery. So if you had weight loss surgery, you're going to have a special diet. Or if you have um, some sort of medical condition uh, where you need more iron, where you need more vitamin B12, um, that can present uh, a need for a special diet as well. So um, for those who especially vegan, um, will hit hard there. You just need to be careful that you make sure you get on enough um, vitamin B12. That tends to be more um, in meats, but you can find it in, in certain vegetables as well. So I'm not saying you, you know, you can't be vegan. I'm just saying be careful. Um, so you can get that either as a supplementation or as long as you arrange your diet around that. Um, if you've had weight loss surgery, definitely talk to your surgeon and your medical specialist as you do have a special diet. Um, you tend to have the uh, decreased ability to absorb certain nutrients. So uh, your your surgeon or medical uh, practitioner can definitely guide you uh, and you know dietitian, nutritionists can guide you in the right way there. So just know that you do probably need a special diet um, and maybe some supplementation there as well. So those are a couple of things i don't think i have any other supplementations for the oh yeah okay this is interesting last one this is a bonus call a bonus so uh, most people in the world drink alcohol um which i mean it's a social thing makes you feel good um but i think we can all agree that uh alcohol can potentially lead to negative outcomes from cancer to cirrhosis which is you know um damage to the liver, um, as well as hangovers and other things as well. So uh, one thing I like to take if I'm uh, drinking alcohol uh, is something called Alcotox. And then this is a um, 
formulation that grabs onto something called acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde, anything ending in aldehyde, think of formaldehyde is a poison, right? So acetaldehyde is what alcohol breaks down to. And uh, that breakdown product is like 30 to 40 times more poisonous than alcohol itself. So by reducing the body's exposure to acetaldehyde, that breakdown product uh, of alcohol, you can actually reduce your hangovers if you have those, as well as the long-term side effects of alcohol. So just something to think about supplement-wise um, uh, for those who, you know, partake in a drink or two, uh, especially if you, drink, if you partake in more than that, uh, I would highly recommend that for protecting your body. So... Um, I think we've learned one or two things today, hopefully. So calls to action. So um, I hope a couple of these things are of interest to you. I really want you to continue researching there. Um, messing with your health is not something uh, I want to do uh, in a short podcast. So I do, first of all, highly, highly, highly recommend that you discuss your health care uh, and any changes with any supplements you may uh, start taking or think about taking, discuss that with your medical provider or your dietitian, because that's important to uh, understand what other things are going on in your life, as well as how that might interact with anything else you're taking from uh, medicine to other supplements as well. So that is of key importance, get your healthcare provider involved. And then of course, if you want to learn more, follow me, Kyle Hodebeck, Dr. Kyle, at K Hodebeck is my handle uh, on social media. And I look forward to hearing more about you. And hey, maybe send me one or two topics you're interested in learning about uh, over the next couple of months. So I won't take up any more of your time. I know that your time is valuable. So I do thank you for uh, giving the last several uh, minutes to me here at On the Cusp. Here at On the Cusp, we encourage you to live like it's your last day and to learn as if you live forever. Thanks. I'm Dr. Kyle Hodebeck. We'll see you next time.